Hey everyone, this is Kamix, and I'm going to show you how to make a theremin-like synth. So, first of all, what is a theremin? A theremin is one of those weird synths that you would hear in, like, I guess Doctor Who's intro. Well, basically just this thing. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these in Harmless. Harmless is a very simple program that costs about $80 and comes with the FL Studio Signature Bundle. So, yeah. If you have the producer edition, you're fucked. If you have the fruity edition, you're fucked. I'm just kidding. But yeah, you can buy it separately for $80. And um, I use it for most of my leads and most of my super saws. And I kind of basically anything that isn't a bass, I've used Harmless for. It's very useful and very simple as well. So it's easy to master. So anyway, to make a synth using Harmless, the first thing I did was obviously open it up. You start off with a saw wave. That hurts, but we can turn that into this. All right, so anyway, the first thing that we're gonna do is turn the pluck knob down to three o'clock. What the pluck does is that it kind of shortens the sound or kills off the uh, decay, I believe. Don't quote me on that, cause I, I don't know the actual terms for this stuff, so, if I've used the wrong terms, please forgive me because I'm not very good with uh, terminology. The next thing we want to do is cut off the high frequencies. So I'm going to take this frequency knob here and turn it down to 9 o'clock. And I'm also going to use the equalizer to cut off the frequencies even further, the high frequencies at least. And the last thing I'm going to do is turn the vibrato knob up to 3 o'clock as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You just made a theremin synth. And this is how it sounds in action. Now, obviously, it really hurts our ears because, well, this is a very, very loud VST, unless you put it into the mixture track and lower it down quite a bit. And a few other things that I would like to, you know, throw in is maybe you'd like to add some reverb to add to the atmosphere a bit. Sounds spooky, right? Another thing I'd like to do is add some stereo separation and maybe turn down the dry knob quite a bit so it can sound distant. That's pretty much how you make a theremin synth, so uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next whatever tutorial shit that I decide to do.